my name is Roger Poole. I'm a visual artist. I specialize in creating artwork on canvas and custom handcrafted patches. I started artwork as a young child uh, in elementary school, about second grade. Um, a few people in my family had some art uh, skills themselves, and so seeing that um, here and there, uh, my mom actually did custom clothing, uh, did some drawing, as well as my sister. And my grandfather actually did artwork with the canes that he needed to walk with. Um, so I've seen a lot of artwork, um, and I also was a young, uh, quiet child, so I used art to kind of express myself. Uh, I actually work in a youth program, um, and I also get to teach art there um, and let them know that there's many different ways you can express yourself other than maybe acting out, uh, or maybe, it, maybe even in sports. Um, there's different ways you can express yourself, um, and I use art to get that out through the students. Um, and so far, it's been real successful, and it's actually been real fulfilling to realize that, um, that I work in a community that I'm born and raised and still live in, and that I actually have an influence on them. Um, so that's uh, one of the main things that uh, I love about my art now, um, compared to before, where it was just a thing of expressing myself and uh, kind of getting a feel for myself, uh, letting people know that I like sports and I'm into different forms of art and I'm in love with my state and my community that I live in to this day. So a lot of my artwork uh, has to do with a lot of images in my community, a lot of the good times. Uh, so a lot of people see it, they say, hey, that brings me back to that time when, when this was going on or before the 94 highway came through. Uh, a lot of my artwork has to do with the Rondo community, um, which is one of the most historic black communities in the state of Minnesota. Um, it was railroaded in a form of fashion when the Highway 94 came through. A lot of uh, highways in the whole country, they either was made, when they was made, they either split through neighborhoods or they would cut the neighborhood off from the rest of the community or the main city. Um, so with some of my artwork that I'm doing, I'm using some of those ideas to portray thoughts, um, to get different ideas out there of different historical situations that we've been in to affect the black community, um, and different ways that I can express myself that can further um, just the education of what's really going on. Um, there are a lot of situations that happen in life just in general. Um, on one perspective, they want to remember different things as much as possible, but a lot of times in the black community, they want us just to forget uh, and get over it. Um, and so I do have a collection where I speak to that, where it shows different historical events where, for instance, in 9-11, um, which, you know, don't, don't quote me, but it seems like it was a, a government situation. It, it was caused by the government. And, but either way, it, uh, they want to say never forget. And so I'm trying to get different uh, art to articulate those events um, and to let people know that we're not just a community or a, a, a group of people that are not just out to strive good things, but there's a lot of different things that held us back and some of my art pieces that just in my upcoming collection will show and express that. Um, there was a lot of different situations with different housing policies, um, literacy acts, um, and there's still things that are happening to this day that continues to affect us. Um, so I want to get some of those um, images out there to kind of let people know. You guys, you guys are doing the shine to represent everyone. Each one of you guys, okay? So, uh, I wanted to just get something off of these other guys.